backlit. <laughs> Apparently. Lit from the back. Because we're special? <laughs> I've no, it's special is, it's Christmas. I, I feel like we've, uh, what do you call it? I feel like we do not know how to do this anymore because we haven't done this in like quite a while. Hi friends, Ew. guess who's back? Finally, it's been like, I guess I know, that almost was like a totally delayed, like I have no idea. <laughs> it's been almost a month since we've actually managed to film a video because we have been majorly busy, like busy. Fun busy. Uh, good busy. Uh, we've been doing a lot of things with friends and family, so yeah. That's been fun. Anyway, do you like our new little Christmassy setup? It's Care of my sister. Very, she's lovely. <laughs> she and she's sort of helped backlit. Also blogs. We'll put that down below. Anyway, uh, on to what today's video is. And today we are doing the rest of our November book haul. While we were away, I brought some books back from the Philippines. We got some books from lovely people who work in publishing. Super lovely. And we also got some pretty cool things, like this thing, which I actually should have shown in like last month's haul Allow or whatever. Allow me to help hold. Yeah. It is this huge box which came to my office. I had no idea what it was for. And it is for the movie Goodbye Christopher Robin. And I'm, I'm crying already. I know. And I was just like, when I opened it, I was like, oh my God, look. Whew. It's poo. It's mine. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is part of a promotion that was for the movie Goodbye Christopher Robin, which we haven't seen yet. But I feel like if we do, we'll probably feel really emotional about it. I, I loved it, book to kind of like behind the scene things, like The Dreamer of Oz still kills me. Uh, like Saving Mr. Solid. Banks is, is a thing. Oh my gosh, Saving Mr. Banks was so sad. Uh, and then now, Goodbye Christopher Robin. So oh, this is a, rep, a Pooh Bear <laughs> replica. Okay. So uh, we're happy about that. Back Pooh goes until he has room on the shelf. Because guess who has no more shelf space? Again! As usual! Can you smell Ikea trips on the horizon? We can. We got a Stormtrooper Beyond the Armor. Star Stormtroopers Beyond the Armor book. Um, it looks like a coffee table book. It, it looks like a coffee right? table book about, well, you guessed it, Stormtroopers. Star <laughs> Um, and, and, and rightfully so in preparation for... Wow, there's uh, so much stuff in there. I know, there's, so, there's a lot We've of... We've got like cool. comic stuff and then... It's, it's, I feel like, like it's just Stormtroopers across or... the comics and the movies. Maybe and the, even the yeah, animated series too? Uh, there's got to be some Star Wars animated on here somewhere or thereabouts. Which but is a pretty uh, timely thing. Which so again, because, um, you know, Journey to Star... It, and, and again, and I was saying it, there's like a little stamp there that says Journey to Star Wars The Last Jedi. Next book I am going to show you guys is called Above the Timberline and it is a novel that is entirely illustrated with oil paintings and each one of them was done by the artist no, they're no. intense let it's, me tell you like they're incredible good. and it's a story of an explorer who is trying to find his father if I recall correctly Detail. yeah it's a beautiful book so thank you so much wonder him PR for sending this one and the Star Wars book as well so um, we were overseas uh, during Black Friday which was wonderful for our wallets uh, oh yeah however this did not escape my uh my view so i like how you managed to do black i didn't even get to go black friday shopping I, this year. I, I got a little alert thing but it says it's po no power in the verse which is i think the, if, if i'm not mistaken the most recent uh tpv of of, of the firefly comic book series happening uh right after that super awesome one where um, Zoe was gonna, just about ready to give birth, and then there were all these other things. And so, cannot wait to read this. Um, any Firefly fans out there? Ooh. The next book I'm gonna show you is this beautiful book called Ink, and it's by Alice Broadway. And it is set in a world where on your skin there are markings that appear that tell the story of your life. And so, Lenora is basically the main character, and she loses her father early on in the book. Not a spoiler, it's in the summary. And it is discovered by her that there is a mark that actually marks her father as having committed a crime, a serious one. And so that pretty much changes her circumstances. And I am dying to read it just because first of all, it's beautiful. Second of all, the concept of it sounds really, really interesting. Thank you so much, Scholastic, for sending this book to me. Speaking of Scholastic. Oh, you have one too. I know. Oh, two. Uh, yes, and these are actually the two Earth Dragon books. Oh, you have the first one? And the second one, apparently, is the Whirl and Darkwing. Cool. So, also dragons. Also drag. I mean, need, need we say more, really? But um, <laughs> it, it's its own... Um, it, it looks like space. Well, not space. No, it's just, it's dragons, and they have their own dragon... Planet? Homeworld planet. Yeah, so I like Planet of the Dragons. 
Um, I would like to live there versus Planet of the Apes. That's I, I would take Planet of the Dragons over Planet Even of the Apes. If you Although know, chances are we'll probably, probably be food in the other one, not say. so much slaves in the other. So um, that's fun. So thank you, Scholastic, for that. So my friend Lauren from Fiction Tea and I did a trade because she's awesome and because A, we both love. Okay, let me awesome let me just like, let me just like say? segue into the fact that the reason why we actually became friends is because we both really, really, really love Naruto and we both have the same two favorite characters in it like we love everyone in it but there are two characters we love the most Kakashi and Chikamaru who I love I love I love anyway moving on so we traded and she made this defaced version of Tower of Dawn for me defaced doesn't give it any justice well that's what she calls it. it and it's then she put this awesome you put a new face on it uh, it's, it's like as you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Throne of Glass series and I love Sarah J Mass and her books and I collect them and this is just something really special to add to my collection I also really love Tower of Dawn because it's Kale's book and Kale has always been my favorite is that character tower so. right there that she kind of painted yeah. Yeah, she kind of painted the tower right See, it's there. It's not which so is much awesome. a defacing as it is. Beautiful. A new like I wish I knew how to do that. Like I don't. I don't. <laughs> she didn't. Yeah. yeah, I can't even write my name properly. She also sent so. me a bunch of bookmarks. So Hooray. this is word marks. This one is a Percy, Percy Jackson, Jackson one. one. Obviously, this is a reading one. This one is ooh a Six of Crows one, and this one is a Stocking Jack the Ripper one. So these are awesome. I will also link to her shop below so you can get your own bookmarks from her. So thank you, Lauren, for everything. And you know, okay. here's to future narrative freakouts, which have never ended. <laughs> uh, no, they won't. No, 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 especially not with last week's episode, anyway. Oh um, my god. Uh, Sorry. More on that some other time. Okay, so um, more love from Tor. This is Child of a uh, like Mad God by Ari Salvatore. So that cover though. I've read Ari Salvatore from Really? Uh, from well not his like books outside of the Star Wars universe. He did write a few Star he Wars. He wrote Star Wars. Uh, well, they're now part of the Legends universe. Uh, Every time you say that, certain... you sound exactly the same level. I'm bitter, old and cranky. And so this one, uh, this next pe the book is called The City of Sand. I mean, there's like a dragon on it, but really, oh, there you go. But but really, it's it's kind of more like a, an adventure, lost Jones tomb type raider thing? kind of type uh, deal, which I'm like very that. excited for. Oh my god, twenty. 2018 is already rocking so hard, and not just because I failed because of all of my TBR attempts, but I um, tried to tell him. We try, it's like this this book blogging life. I don't I don't understand the amount of failure that people have. To, anyway, but it's looking so good from now, and um, and we're not even well into the year yet. So we're not even if, in the year yet. <laughs> Looking forward to that. So there is, as usual, a tiny little Harry Potter portion of this haul. Uh, there always. My brother-in-law, I'm just gonna say my, bro my brother, <laughs> worked in Korea for a while, and while he was there, he picked up the first book for me in Korean, which I think is really cool. And what they generally do is that so all the books Fun are the same fact. size, they split the books like this. So there are two parts. And same cover and all, but like, oh my god, I can't believe I have this in Korean. <laughs> Such a fun <laughs> thing. Again, another thing I collect, uh, foreign editions of the first Harry Potter book. So this was definitely something I was excited about. That makes about. my brother super awesome. Uh, he is super awesome. And well, then, we, well, during our layover in Taiwan, yeah. Uh, we were looking around for stuff, and we were like, oh my gosh, we found in Taiwan, I assume this is... Um, it's like the, uh, I forget what the Hogwarts library. It's the Hogwarts library. So... Um, the Taiwan editions. Fantastic Beasts. Which is super cool. Uh, Quidditch to the Ages, and the Tales of Beetle the Vine. And you can't see it, like, maybe, like, right it's now, but... Like shiny, but though. they're shiny, like, so there's, like, maybe, like stylized like, griffins over here. And then there, and then stylized Quidditch hoops and uh, and tree. like the the tree with like the elder sign over here. I said, did I say elder sign? I was like elder sign. We've yeah. been playing too many board games, Way too which many we will talk games. about in some other video at some point. I'm at sure. At some point. If any of you want to hear that. Uh, when I went home to the Philippines, when we went home to the Philippines, I uh, picked up some of my books while I was there. And there are three <laughs> historical romance novels that I picked up in particular just because I love them and you'll see how Bye. much they were loved. So first is Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, which is by Julia Quinn. This is the fourth, I want to say, book in the Bridgerton series and my favorite. It's about, it's about Colin, who is the third eldest brother and his romance with someone he did not expect to fall for, which I really love. There's also this um, sort of writer aspect to the story, which I really, really love as well. Wow. So yeah, I would highly recommend this series. Definitely 
check it out if you haven't already. They're just fun, fluffy historical romances. And then I picked up the original copies that I read of The Secret and Ransom by Julie Garwood. And you can tell how often these have been read just by how much they're falling apart. Like, what seriously, they are like books that falling, made them so re falling apart. Um, my mom read them first, and then I read them, and then my sister read them, and then pretty much everyone we could convince to read them read them too. They're uh, Scottish high, uh, Scottish uh, laird romances. Uh, they're just very escapist. I just really enjoy the stories. They they do run heavy on like the dramatics, but I love the characters and their relationships so much. And this one I read way more times than I can count. This one I actually haven't reread as often, but I love them both and would highly recommend them as well, clearly, because these are falling apart. Anything I know about Scotland is nicely summed up by Carry a on. summer of watching Braveheart almost every day. David Tennant? <laughs> I wish I, I branched out to those. Okay, so the one author whose books I knew I had to get when I went home to the Philippines was Rick Riordan because he is an author that both Mackie and I really really love. We yeah, think she his got books me into are so cool. funny, they're smart, they're funny, they're, they're, he's got characters that you cannot help but love yeah. and so I picked up most of the books that I didn't have which was pretty much all of them. Um, so the Started first with... series is the King Chronicles, which, and which I totally like. Absolutely it's Egyptian loved. mythology, and it's about two siblings, Sadie and Carter, and who have who discover that they have ties to the ancient pharaohs mm -hmm. and have that kind of blood that allows them to wield the Egyptian so cool. magic, uh, which is awesome. It's so really it's cool. basically Harry Potter but Egyptian, uh, it, but very also a very American. Even if Sadie is British, yeah. or at least raised in Britain. Raised in Britain. Yeah, um, so that was fun. That so was fun. it's the Red Pyramid, Woo. the Throne of Fire, and then eventually and the Serpent Shadow, which so good, guys. That that trilogy is really good. Like yeah, I don't think it gets I, talked about as often as it's, it's actually the Heroes pretty. Of Olympus yeah, it's pretty. Un I mean, I, I would say I think it's underrated, really. underrated and not covered enough. But we're gonna try to give it some oh. love. About that. Speaking of what actually is, uh, I guess okay. the, the and main here, bulk of, course, of Rick Riordan's. Yeah, is where it all began. Oops. This is it's funny because I have the first four in paperback and then the last one in hardcover, but who cares? Uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, where it all started. I have to give credit to my cousin because she is the one who got me to read these, and then I got Maggie to read Mo? these, and then it was all yeah, downhill from there. Yeah, you get a shout out because you're awesome. <laughs> okay, so that's the Lightning Thief. Also battered. Oh no! I was like, that's the wrong book. Sea of the Monsters. Sea of Monsters. I would say the Titans Curse. Titan's Curse. Uh, Battle of the Labyrinth. Battle of the Labyrinth. And of course, the last. Olympian. And the last Olympian. These books are so good. They're so funny. They're so smart. The characters are so great, and you really grow to love them over the course of the books. And I love that each one has like a contained adventure, but it all builds up to what happens in this book. So, really, really good. Which usher in my personal favorite uh, oh, chunk of the of the series? Which uh, is we're missing one. Oh, well, one is on my shelf. It's been here because this is where I read it. The other one, we have no idea. We have where no it idea is. where it is, to be honest, because we moved around but so we'll, much. We'll get a replacement. But we'll get a replacement. So it's the first three books in the Heroes of Olympus series, which was incredible. That, yeah, my this, goodness. This is this is when we thought, and, and this is okay. Technically, Apollo kind of blows the roof off of it because we didn't think that Rick Riordan. Oh had my God! Else Holy to, to moly! That I mean, yeah, book, like, we, we 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 thought he wouldn't How have anything. How rude! That else. I just. You know what I mean? Like I was like I was prepared for like the usual Rick Riordan right. awesomeness, and then and then it just you know Lester Papadopoulos. Like, right. Why? Lester Papadopoulos. I think more of the in, in, in more of the funny, insane, obscure humor. Uh, so we thought that was cool. However, for me, I think what peak stride would be this particular series when so the great. world expands. They begin to talk about you know they, they begin to you know, explore what else, you know if we've got Camp Half Blood in the East Coast. Stirrings of what, what was happening on the West Coast were happening, and so to shift from multi-person, you know, person so view um, so stuff. I think Rick Riordan there really were hits his stride. Familiar characters, there were new characters. Yeah. So good, the adventure is so good. Absolutely. Um, so I picked up the Lost Hero. Ow, these are heavy. And he's there. The Son of Neptune. The Son of Neptune. And the Mark, of, the Athena. Mark of Athena. The one we're missing is the House of Hades, which oh my god, I cried reading that and, one. So let's and not talk about and, it. And marginal spoilers, right? If uh, if you've got the Son of Neptune, gee, I wonder who that one's about. But then you've got the Mark of Athena, gee, I wonder who that one's about. 
really fun. Like it's I said, so multi-person point of view uh, really gets the story going. So much love, so much love. Okay, that's pretty much all the books that we have to show you in this haul. A few things. First of all, the Tamara Pierce videos are finally going up. That's By right. the time you see this video, you'll probably have, have seen, seen at least, at least one, one or two. One or, probably just the one. No, it'll be two because one tomorrow and one. This is going up next Friday, so. Oh, next Friday. So you'll then definitely see two. Definitely two. Um, yeah, so we've been catching up on the Circle series, and of course, we're still on schedule to do the Tortal books. Yes, um, we are. In that's, that's oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, winding up to Tempest and oh gosh, Slaughter. It's gonna be so good. But, uh, funny story about all these Rick Riordan books. There is another reason that we technically brought them all over here, and that's because we're also considering doing the a same similar treatment. sort of thing for Rick Riordan. It's almost like an author mini spotlight a documentary yeah, type, type deal where we do everything that we did for those authors who we were doing for Tamara Pierce's books. Get all of the worlds in together, talk about the characters, talk about, you know, the specific key things about yeah. the world that we love. And so that's going to be fun. Plus reading I order. I think that one's going to be leading up to um, the third Trials of Apollo book. The third Trials of right? Apollo book would be cool, yes. Is it out yet? No, right? No, I think it's coming out eventually. Yeah, because the third uh, Magnus Chase book is out. <laughs> yes, yes it <laughs> I'm is. I've not read it. I've so not read it. slow on the Rick Riordan train. We're like Magnus falling Chase. behind here. And I'm more partial really to Do you the... like Apollo better? The one time I, well, no. I The one time I'm more partial to the West Coast has to do with the the, the Percy Jackson series. That's the only, pl that's the only reason. Okay. Uh, can anyone say Jason Grace? Um, anyway. Oh, so cool. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. You guys will be seeing more Time of Fear stuff from us, as well as our best of 2017 list, which My goodness. is really tough. I got to tell you. We're working on it. It's going to come up but soon. It's a, but it's going to be a good recap, I think. It's going to yeah. summarize the year. Yeah. And we're not only sharing books, too. We'll probably be doing another video where we talk about other things that we loved in 2017, like your name. Oh my gosh. So, so anime, <laughs> books, games, uh... Anime? Did you say anime? <laughs> there, I'm there kidding. She is. Anyway, so there. Till next time, guys. Bye. Bye.